Welcome to Invisible CRM. In this demonstration of the CRM desktop, you will learn to add a new contact, affiliate an email with a contact, account, and opportunity, and update an opportunity. These steps will be performed in Outlook, but will also automatically synchronize data with your CRM. Here is the scenario for this demonstration. You are acting as Vic Taylor, Senior Solutions Consultant at Silver Fox Industries, and you receive an email from Charlie Baxter, an existing prospect. Charlie is introducing you to his manager and requesting a meeting to discuss the proposal. Charlie copied his manager, Susan Reynolds, and she may be a new contact for you. The first thing you need to do is verify whether Susan is an existing CRM shared contact. If she is not, you can quickly add Susan's information and share it with the CRM database. To verify if a contact exists in Outlook, start by opening the email. Then right click on Susan's email address and select Look up Outlook contact. If Susan is an existing contact, you will see her name in the search results. However, since no search results appear for Susan, click OK to close that window. To add her as a contact, right-click her email address again and select Add to Outlook Contacts. This opens a new window where you can add additional details about the new contact that will be shared with the CRM. For now, just add basic information like Susan's job title, Senior VP of Sales. To fill in the account field, start typing Campbell and Associates in the space provided. You will see that the account name pre-fills, allowing you to select from the search results without having to type the entire name. Alternatively, click the button to the right of the account field to select from a list of all existing accounts. When you have finished adding information for the contact, click Save and Close. Great! Susan has now been added. Next, you want to associate the contact, account, and opportunity to Charlie's email. In the open email, click the gray share bar, which turns gold to indicate that the email is now being shared with the CRM. Notice that contact, account, and opportunity fields are now displayed and that the account is automatically filled in. Now click the opportunity button and select from opportunities associated with this account. Now it's time to associate this email to one or more contact records. Start by clicking the Contacts button. Then select the contacts you want to associate with the shared email. For this scenario, choose All Contacts. You can click the arrow next to the Contacts field to see that all contacts are listed. Now click the Save icon. As a result of Charlie's request, you feel it's important to update the opportunity with additional information. To do that, Start by clicking the hyperlink in the Opportunity field. This opens the Opportunity window. Here, you can add or modify several pieces of information, such as the sales stage. Notice how the probability percentage is automatically updated with the new stage. CRM Desktop respects the workflow rules maintained in the CRM application. Now you want to add Susan as a contact to this opportunity. So, click the Add Contact button. Start typing Susan Reynolds in the space provided. Her name will pre-fill, allowing you to select it before you finish typing her name. Click OK. You can see that Susan Reynolds has been associated with the email and is now added to the opportunity as an activity. When CRM Desktop is synchronized with the CRM application, the database will reflect these updates. Just click Save and Close to complete this step. You have just seen how to complete three steps in the sales process that will reflect in the CRM application without ever leaving Outlook. You have added a new contact, associated an email with an account, contact, and opportunity, and you updated an opportunity. In the next demonstration, you will see how to schedule a meeting with Vic, Charlie, and Susan and associate that meeting with the account, contact, and opportunity. Thank you for your time. See you next time.